people deluded i'm here with a special guest mark how you doing man how you, how you keeping i'm good man i'm good man how are you i'm good i'm good apart from lockdown i know it's i know your weather's down in borough is not the same but it's it's boiling in london can't turn my fan on because we're doing this i feel like a sardine yeah. right now my guy man <laughs> after doing that i can't complain it's all now yeah it's cool man what's, what's lockdown been like for you man what you been up to how you been <laughs> insane um, I've just been, I've just been just at home chilling. I've got a garden, so it's not too bad. I can, I can catch a little tan, you know what I'm saying? I said a tan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've been all right, man. Just me, missus and my, and my dog, we're just, we're just chilling, just trying to get the mind right, you know, before, mm-hmm. before we, we come out of lockdown. What's lockdown been like for your dog? Is that the, cause I know you're a defender. Is the dog, is your dog the attacker and stuff in the drills outside and that? Yeah. I don't think you understand. If I had, if I could show you videos of the way my dog moves, yeah, like he's got a like we have a ball and he'll just dodge. Like he's he's good. Like he's nippy. So um, I just chase him all the time in the garden. So it's wow. not too, bad. it's not too bad. Sound like your dog's got more tech than you, man. Now I'm playing. No, he's, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> but other than that, in terms of like drills and anything, I know there isn't much you can do in the garden and stuff. But what have you been doing to like take over if you could do anything? Um, I've just I just got a treadmill. Um, I just been doing drills, um, like just running drills, just whatever I can think of. Um, and then like uh, we get given programs. So like, if you want to go outside, you can you can run. Um, so I've been doing a bit of both, just like things that came to me basically mm, mm. I know you I know at the moment technically you're on loan so do you get pre- programs from just a, from your loan your loan club or is it both Middlesbrough and thing both so it? like for me I, I just I'll get I'll get it from both so like okay um, wh- whatever kind of caters to me you know because some people would want to do more stuff more gym stuff more like running stuff or whatever so I just pick from both and I and I just think you know what? okay cool this caters to me or like I don't really feel like doing this do you know what I mean because it, mm. it's not really going to help me but um yeah I just I just nitpick from both and it, it, it's working at the moment that sounds good so you just design your little own program with the bits and bobs. basically yeah basically just got my whiteboard write up my stuff and then I'm good to go for the day mm, that makes sense man that makes sense in terms of like contact with the rest of your teammates and coaches has it all been good have you all been keeping in loop and keeping it done yeah uh, we've got whatsapp group chat um, so that so like if, if things are going on, then you you you'll talk through the WhatsApp group chat, um, and then you've got like the the club group chat, which everyone like the doctors and all of that have got that can talk in there as well. So everyone's pretty updated with things, and if there's any concerns, then it's like, well, we can talk about it or address it on Zoom. We've got Zoom, so it's pretty like it's good communication. Mm. I fully understand where you're going with that. I wanted to yeah. ask you, like, obviously you're a professional footballer now. You've, you know, you're doing good things, and we're proud of you graduating through Arsenal's academy. But where Thank did it you. start? For you? Where did it? Where did it start for you? Where did the love for football start? What team was it? Was it your older brothers, cousins who got you into it? Where did it yeah? Start? So um, started off my brother. My brother was uh, a footballer. Uh, my dad loved football, so. Uh, used to take my brother to, to, to training and I used to just tag along. Mm. So I used to just, like, as a kid, just sit on my ball and just watch him. I just mm. used to watch him. He's a striker, so it was like, all right. He used to get all the glory scoring goals and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me start. Let me get so, there. Yeah, yeah let, me, let me try, innit? So I was like nine. I think I was like nine, ten. And um, I, I was the youngest. So, like, the people that I hung around with at the time were, like, couple of years older than me and stuff like that so I used to just train with them mm. and then uh, I signed up for like a, uh, I signed up for a team when I was about 11 long lane which mm. like they're just like Sunday league um, as a striker so that's where that was all because of my brother do you know what I mean your brother yeah so that's how it started and then um, when I got to 12 Mm. 12 is when I got scouted by Arsenal mm. so I just I trained I was there for about 6 weeks 6-7 six, weeks as mm. a striker still as and a striker then, still as a striker and then gradually 
what? You only good at left wing? I was like, I can play there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Support Arsenal. So I'm like, I can play there. Like, I don't care. I just want to mm. be. I just, just want to be Arsenal awesome player. And then, and then, like, when I got signed, I got signed for about, uh, I went there probably like middle. So I got signed until the end of the season. Mm. And then uh, went to left back, just gradually just moved me back. And then I went like centre back. Yeah, centre back started. And then it was like when we used to play up for like under 14s, I used to go left back. Mm. And then when I used to go with my age group, I used to go to under 13s. And then it just gradually moved from there and then just became a left back. Right. As a fellow fullback, not to your level, but as a fellow fullback, I follow your, I, f- I feel your pain in the same trajectory. Literally. Yeah. Like <laughs> what was the trial like though man like if you can remember what was it like being on trial for arsenal the other boys i remember um, psychologically sorry yeah so my first my first day i remember i didn't even train my own age group um sorry hold on sorry. that's cool man uh, it's cool he's heard the hoover and he's gone <laughs> mad uh one sec. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Man, um, man, it's real life, man. You're at home with your dogs yeah. like everyone else. It's real life, bro. <laughs> yeah, so um, my first first day, first day, I didn't even train my own age group. I trained with the year below, but it, for me, it wasn't like, oh, why am I training with like people younger yeah, than me? It was like, it was like, oh, okay, cool, like. I'm I'm just happy to be here. I've gone. Happy I've come be. from I've come from Sunday League at the age of twelve to to playing for a team I support. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's a lot. It's a dream. Uh, yeah, it's a dream for me. So um, first day train whatever, and then I moved. I moved up with my own age group, and then I just like for me it's like oh my days. These are like these are people here, people there. It's like wow, I'm playing with probably one of the best age groups in the country. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, for me to go there was a privilege. I was like, oh, Jesus, this is mad. This is mad. Um, and then the, the more you're there, the more like, you start to get along with a few people. Everyone's like, all right, you're right, man. It's, mm. You start to feel feel comfortable. Mm. And then, yeah, that's how, like, that was my, like, thought process going into training with, like, my own age group, basically. Mm. Like, I know a lot of your age group, you progressed all the way to scholars and under-23s and things. Who was, just to paint a picture for people listening, who was your closest friends within that age group and who was in that age group? So, my age group, um, so when I first, so when I first um, signed, um, my age group was uh, Abere Eze, close mate of mine, um, Ovie Ajaria, mm-hmm. um, Olafella, Good names. Um, yeah, Steffi Mavadidi. Very big names now. Chrissy, Chrissy Willock. I so like, that so that age group was like, Madness. was crazy. So imagine me going into that age group and I'm like, all right, cool. I don't know about these guys at the time, but it's like, uh, these are these are probably one of the best like so players in the in the country. Players in the age group, yeah. Mm. So, um, that's that was just like, and there was many, there were loads of players like like top talent as well mm. so um i managed to get signed and whatever and then kind of progressed mm. all the way through 23 this do you know what i mean let, let me talk let me ask you a question quickly and, and, and step in you mentioned you kind of touched on the psychological aspect what is it like psychologically being at a club like arsenal because like you said best players in and around the country if not the world at that age group or every age group players come, yeah. constantly coming in on trial what's what's it like being in the mindset of an academy player I think at the time you don't I don't think you realize what you're kind of like competing with do you mm. know what I mean mm. so it's like you're just going in it's, it's just like you're going in with your mates and you're just playing football but it's at a high tempo so yeah. you kind of enjoy it because it's like boom 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 it's sharp do mm. you know what I mean so mm. it's not like you're going in there thinking there's another guy from I don't know wherever mm. trying to take my position do you know what I mean Mm. The older you get, the more you realize well people are here like, i'm i'm probably this this team is probably the best in in the country mm. and there's other people trying to take my place. Do you know what I mean they're bringing people in trial whatever mm. 
trying to take my position. But you don't, like, you don't psychologically think, Jesus, like, the pressure's there. You just go and just play. Do you know what I mean? Mm. As a kid. Mm. That makes sense. And obviously, you mentioned initially you was signed until the end of the season, you said, right? What was, yeah. what was that like game to game? Because you don't seem like someone who always thought of, yeah, if I played bad or I played good, they're gonna, every week they're going to sign me sort of thing. What was it like in the mindset of trying to earn a deal beyond the end of the season within that period? Um, I, my mindset was, um, it was just like, you just got to play, innit? you You don't really think about, I think I think the only time I thought about it was at the end, where it's like I don't even know what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? But mm. when you're there, day to day, it's just like I'm going into training. I'm trying to be the best I can be. I'm trying to prove to these guys that listen, I'm 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 the here in it. I'm the real deal. Mm. You don't really go in there thinking like, if I train bad, oh, they're gonna look at me and think, oh man, like is he really is he really is he really what we what we thought? We Do you know thought. what I mean? You just you just go in there and you just give it your give it your best, hundred percent. And then whatever happens, kind of happens. But you kind of know, like, you, you know inside that today I train well or, you know what, tomorrow I need to step up. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. That, was my, that was my thought process, yeah. That's a great way of answering that. So let me take you through, like, like you said, you've gone in at 12 years of age, you've progressed for a couple of years. Let me progress this probably towards, I'd say, under 16 season, purely because that's when it, it's always real, but it's scholarship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, what, yeah. what, what's going through your mind in the scholarship period? Like, are you? How much is it playing on your mind? What was it like when you was given uh, it? Take us through that, man. From what I can remember, under 16s was there was a point where um, people were going into like full time. I think it was the time. Yeah, so people were going into full time. So they were like, uh, like where I don't know. You're at a certain age where you, you, you homeschool at. Uh, the club basically mm. and then you train every day um so you're pretty much guaranteed i don't know a, a scholar, like a scholar it's like a pre-scholar yeah sort of like a pre-scholar um and i wasn't a part of that i was just like man i'm just doing i'm going to school on a monday whatever tuesday i'm training do you know what i mean i'm mm. i'm getting a bus to training i'm doing all of that like i'm not that i'm not one of i'm not in that little category basically so mm. for me it was like I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just I'm just going in I'm just going in going in um I think I'm the 15th is when we when we find out right um mm. between that period you'd imagine yeah yeah so people get told before like you get a scholar getting a pro scholar and then it's like oh pff, you, you go into that room and it's like oh Jeez, I don't even know what's gonna happen. You start looking back, like you start thinking, did I have a good season? Like you start, Bro. like one person didn't get it. You think, oh my days, that's me. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I'm like, oh, I only got a scholar, and or the other person goes, oh man, I got a scholar and a pro, and you're like, oh man, like if I walk in there and I don't get something, I'm like, oh, Bro. what am I gonna feel like? Do you mm. know what I mean? Um, so for me at the time, it was a bit like, oh man, this is like. This is the club that I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be at for the yeah, yeah, for as much as possible. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so when I got my scholar, I was, I was buzzing. I was like, "Yeah, man, this is, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is best feeling ever." Um, and that's that was like my at that point. It was like, "Yeah, I'm here in it. I'm here. Mm. I'm, a, I'm an Arsenal awesome player at the time," mm. and that felt good. For me. Should do, man. Testament to yeah, your hard man. work. You work very hard. You know, you've con you consistently looked at your performance and tried to better yourself. So, what was mm. it? Obviously, you've now you've been given a deal. Now you're going into the scholarship. Like, let's say the summer of going to be an under 18 footballer. When you yeah. now get into preseason and training every day and, and and just being exposed to under 18s football, what shocked you about it? What was your feelings? Because obviously the physical element, you know, it's, it's fast paced. The tactical element is there. What was your thoughts on that initial introduction period? Um, I think for me it was um, trying to figure out my position at the time. Mm. So uh, under from 13s to 15s, playing centre back. Occasionally, if I played up with the uh, age group above, I'll go left back. So, at that point, you're playing 16s, and then, you're like, all right, I'm playing centre back. I want to play. I want to play centre back. And then, when you 
go up to like train with the A team, just like, okay, what position are you? Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then people, like, I don't know, they'll start bringing in trial list centre back, and it's like, oh, Jesus, like, kind of puts you off now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think like, mm. you're at that stage where you start thinking about stuff more. Mm. So it's like, oh, what, what position am I going to be? Um, and I just, like, you kind of have to have that conversation with yourself and be like, all right, cool, like, I want to be, I want to be a left back or I want to be a centre back. Um, and that was that. I think that period, I think from six, from 16 to 18 was probably a difficult period for me because I, I didn't really know what I was kind of doing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, that that was probably like the only thought that I had at that time. Mm. Why was you fight? Why was you fighting with yourself though? Because I get you must have had games where you're excelling at centre half. Why was it so and, and left back? But why was it such a such a close battle between the two positions? Because I was too small to be a centre back, mm. and I was. Do you know what I mean? I was too small to be a centre back, and um, at left back, I didn't. I didn't think I had the the fitness in me to go up and down for ninety minutes. Mm. But I was just like. Jesus, I don't even know what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? It yeah, was, that wasn't my thought process. So it's like, but I turn it back, I feel so comfortable on the ball. And I, like, I don't know, everything felt normal to me. Normal, I was like, yeah, this is good, like man. Had, yeah, I felt, and then left back, it was like, yeah, this is good for 60 minutes. It wasn't good for 90, because I was blowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Said, so, like, for me, at the time, I was, like, more defensive, uh, full-back, I just, I, I'm, I'm chilling there, like... You, man, do what you need to do. I felt, yeah, I felt good, Gam. I felt good defending. Mm. So, and I had, and I had, um, at the time, uh, left wing would have been, I don't know, Terrell Robinson or Chris Willock. So, mm. I, I just give them the ball. And then, if they lost it, all right, you stay there. You don't even have to run. I'll do, I'll do the defending. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That was how I felt at the time. So I was like, that was my, I don't know what to do as in left back or centre back. And then I just, I just said, you know, what, let me just, let me just stay centre, uh, left back. Mm. And then just, and just try to push on the fitness thing. Let me yeah. try, let me try to get fit as mm. much as possible just to, to stay in that position. Mm. So in terms of obviously now that you've become a left back, what made you, who, was there a coach that took you by side and worked together? Was there, like, I don't know, was it your older brother? Did you do any extra work? What made you finally, like, because to someone, if you never told me that, I would never know, you know, you wasn't comfortable at left back. Definitely yeah. wouldn't have known you was never good going forward because I think that was one yeah. of your strengths through the academy. So it's like, how did the process yeah. of becoming a very good left back in that respective position take place? Um... um I don't even know. I think... Uh, there was a point where I was injured. Mm. Um, there was a point where I was injured, and I just, I just like me. I think me and my sports scientist just like I just had to bash it in him, and he had to bash it in me, type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So we were both in like in this mindset of like, listen, you have to get fit because if you don't. Speak. You're gonna have to learn the half way, the hard way. Do you know mm. what I mean? So mm. it was like we had to drill it in our minds, where it's like we're doing everything we can to get you fit. Um, even though there'll, there'll be times where I hated it, like I just hated it. So I was doing all of my my bike sessions, my running sessions, um, just to get fit, just to just to like just to just to have that in me. Mm. Um, that was that that was the only time I can remember feeling like. All right, cool. Like this is, this is uh, a stage where I'm at where I've got to kind of take it into my own hands. Mm. Mm. Um, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't really give you a specific. specific yeah, it's a bit of everything, clearly. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's and you mentioned one. I have to go back to it. Yeah, you said like yeah. you mentioned you wasn't necessarily confident going forward. But like I said, when I watched you, I would have thought that was yeah. one of the most. You know, I asked. Them, I would have thought that was one of your biggest strengths, something you didn't think about. So, I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me through the technical aspect. Was it as you didn't necessarily believe you could contribute going forward? I think it. Do you know, I think, I think, I think it's just the fact of I don't know. I think for me, it's just like, man, I, I, I want, I always want a perfect game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so if if I if I make a mistake, it's like, yeah, that's in my head for ages until I make until I make something good. Do mm. you know what I mean? So it's like I kind of overthink my performance in every aspect 
Mm. Um, so me going forward, it was like uh, I can do it. Like let's say if we had five aside, I'd I'd, I'd be gr- I'd be good at going forward, whatever. Mm. But it's just because I was I just didn't have the fact. I don't know. I just wasn't as confident, or I was too afraid to make a mistake. Because if I made a mistake, and I looked over and it's like, oh, Jesus, it's up. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't mm. want anyone to to be like, man, what are you doing? Mm. That was my, that was the, like my biggest, I'd say my big, I don't say I regret it, but if I would have made more this like, I don't know, risk to take going yeah. forward and doing this, it, I would have been a lot better. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was just the fact that I wanted a perfect game, every single game that I just, I, I don't know, seven, seven out of 10 game, but I knew I could go up. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was just like, I was just comfortable, but comfortable at that age probably wasn't good enough. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let me ask, let me ask you this then. Do you still think like that in a, in terms of the perfect game? Does it still play on you if you've made a mistake, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? At times, at times, not always. How do you at get times, over it? Um, I think, I think recently, um, you just have to put life into perspective, isn't it? I think. So you you just got to think at the end of the day, like this is this is not forever. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you making a mistake, you making a mistake doesn't mean that you're a bad player. It just means that mm-hmm. that you can improve. Do you know what I mean? You're mm-hmm. not perfect, so you can improve that. And you just got to go into the mindset of like, yo, like forget about what people think. Mm-hmm. That's, that's when you just start. That's when people start making mistakes. You start, oh my god, the fans are on me, or my players are just going to think, whoa, is this guy mad or something? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And it's just like that was that was it. I just thought, you know what, like I need to just forget about what people people think, people say, whatever. And just mm. got you got to do yourself at the end of the day. Mm. Just take that with this move. Yeah, and that was just my like drive that got me all the way like just right, let me just when I play every time I play I think man how many crosses am I going to get today or how many how many guys am I going to make today do you know what I mean you yeah, kind of yeah, put yeah. yourself in a you just kind of you can't go at right, today I'm going to I'm not going to lose the ball today because it's like you've already got a negative in your head already and you're scared do you know what I mean you're scared mm-hmm. already so if you say to yourself that today I'm going to I'm I'm gam you see that right back yeah he's finished mm-hmm. today right mentality that, Mm. Yeah, you got to have the right mentality. Mm. What's it like yeah, playing in front of all them fans, though? Feels good, man. I, so, I think, I don't I don't remember the first time, but in general, it feels, it feels great. It feels great and it feels, I don't know. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Do you know what I mean? I imagine you're playing. <laughs> yeah. So, it's like... Man, you, do you really need to say that? Or, but like when it's good, it's great. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's great. So uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't really pay too much, like in my mind. To be fair. Did you have to adjust to it, or it was business as usual sort of thing? Like it's just a game of football. Nah, no just a game of football. Really... Just a game of football. Because that is, when you're young, you don't play. You only play in front of 10, 10 people. Do you know what mm. I mean? When you're young, you don't think about that. You just play football. Mm. So. Even when you go, I don't know, um, into a stadium and there's loads of people, it doesn't really matter. Only you can change what what people think or what um, how you feel to play that game. Do you know what I mean? No, mm-hmm. no one's gonna say to me, "Oh, oh are you gonna miss? You're gonna miss," and then you and then you miss. Do you know what I mean? It's got, it's only you to be like, "Alright, cool. Like this is this is what I'm gonna do." No one's gonna change the fact that I'm gonna do it. Mm. That's a great mentality to have. You sound like someone that, you know, the second you could get an... Oh, apologies, people. I didn't put this in gallery mode, which is appalling from me. Um, before I made that mistake, apologies, people. Um, like I was going to say, you seem like someone that, obviously, when you, be- you, you know, you come become a scholar, you do a couple of years, and it gets to that time where you're going to keep playing 23s or do you want senior football? You seem like someone that wanted senior football. Um, do you feel 23s is the best of help for players coming through or trying to make it? Do you, like, what's your feelings on 23s football? Yeah, I think it's good. I think um, it just depends on what, um, how you develop because... Um, I know a lot of people who 
coming, I don't know, from under 16s, they were told that they were not, they were too small. Mm. And um, excelled. Do you know what I mean? They've just, they've gone. They've, mm. I don't know, a couple playing top champ, top prem. Do you know what I mean? Because they were told they're too small. Um, and there's players that were, I don't know, developed more. So they were allowed to go on loan or whatever. So I thought 23s was like, the, was probably the best because it's like, all right, people that were fully, de- weren't developed and still play 23s mm-hmm. and still learn. Um, and the players that were more developed than others can go and um, go on loan mm-hmm. and also learn. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So talk me through senior football when you got exposed to it. Obviously, before you left Arsenal permanently, I believe, forgive me if I'm wrong, you was at Bristol and you was also at Notts County. What were them two yeah. experiences like and how did they contrast and which one did... I won't ask you which one you preferred, but what were they like? Yeah, what were they like? Um, so my done? first loan, I enjoyed both of them because my, my first loan was probably... Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I'd say... My first loan was more um, was more than experience because it was my first. So it was kind of like an eye opener because mm. it was like I'm at Arsenal and it's like yeah, this is the high life. Do you know what I mean? It's like um, I'm getting the the best treatment, um, best facilities, and then I go into like I don't know. I go deep in deep in to League Two fighting for. Relegation, do you know what I mean? So I'm in a battle here, real world sort of thing. So real world. So for me, it was like, man, like this is. I think once you go into an environment like that where everyone's in a scrap, and it's like, all right, they 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 bring you in, and it's like, right, listen, we're in a scrap. We need you to help us out. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And you kind of need us to help you out, kind of thing. So it was great for me um, to learn. How like I don't know. I, I think the stigma is real men's football, but um, yeah, yeah. But how how fo- like the league football is, do you know? Mm. Um, and I enjoyed that. I think um, I probably played my best football there. Mm. Um, I enjoyed it. Like I think I enjoyed it a lot. Type of thing. Um, and then I went to Bristol. Mm. And that was a different experience, but a very good experience as well because the people that I met there made it so much better for me to go and play and kind of play the way I wanted to play. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. And that was going to make some great people there. Um, and I think that that's a big, um, a big advantage when you go out on loan or you go somewhere new. That the people that you like, the people that are there at a club, can make a huge impact in your experience there. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and that was, that was great for me. And then just kind of, I think going out or, I don't know, playing men's football for me at that time was like, yeah, I need it. Like, I want to go and play and compete and just battle and play football. Do you know what I mean? Um, and you don't, and you experience different. So like when I was playing 18, 23s, there's not a lot of fans at the time. But when you go to like, I don't know, Accent and away, or yeah, madness, Grimby, and it's like it's completely different. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like you experience like huge, like different things. Mm. Um, and that was that was that was good for me. Mm. In, you obviously you went a big part of being a footballer. Obviously, you you played for a few clubs already. Um, yeah. and you typically play for a couple of clubs, different tactics and all of this sort of stuff. You've yeah. gone on a few loans. How were they different tactically and what did you learn? Was one more defensive and one was more an attacking structure? Was it three at the back, four at the back? What was it? So I think... How did you learn? So, so, um, so Notts County was more um, scrappy. So it was like, all right, lads, two banks of four, <laughs> two big men at the top. Oh, if man. You're full, if you're a full back, um, touch at your feet. Channels, do you know what I mean? So for yeah. me, it was like I don't mind it. I did, I didn't mind it, but it wasn't my game. But like, because I had um, I had a winger in front of me who could play. Like he could play, so I'd play him, and then run round him, and then he'd play. Do you know what I mean? Like an overlap and then cross it. So 
like we had it was fluid on my side and on the other side them. as well. It was fluid, so it was like we can do both. We can yeah. do both. We can like take out your feet and just boom, gone, or we play cute football. Um, and then League One at Bristol was um, a bit tidier. Do you know what I mean? There'll be times where all right, if it's got to go, you go, but. Bit more Near enough, like, yeah, you a bit more ball play, um, and it suited me as well because I was a bit of a ball, I was a ball player, but I, I had that experience from League Two where it's like, lads, if it's got to go, it's got to go, mm. um, and that was good. Mm, that, that's in, it's interesting you say that, man. It's interesting to hear your experiences. You sound like you didn't struggle because, for one of better phrases, like you said, real men's football. Obviously, yeah. a young a young lad, obviously still developing, going against grown men. You don't sound sound like you struggled at that aspect. Obviously, uh, I did. You I did. One hundred percent. I did. I did. No, it wasn't all great. Like I think I will tell you a story. There was one time. Um, there was one time. Notts County, I remember this. I think I won't, I won't forget this. Um, we were playing Stevenage away. Mm-hmm. Stevenage away. Um, and I don't know. You know, I don't know, like, you know when you have one of those games and it's like, whatever you touch just goes wrong. Like, mm, mm, mm. Definitely. Did, I think that, that game... Um, put me, I don't know, changed my mindset in the way like I've got to approach football. So like we um yeah we've gone there and it's like oh, first eight minutes or something crazy like that they scored two goals and this one's gone my side and I'm like oh my god and then they scored a corner and I'm like oh my days what's going on here like I'm pretty sure that's my man like <laughs> mad um we lose three 0 and it's like the seven we're losing three three 0 three one and um, it's like the seventy fifth minute. Board comes up. I see my, I see my number, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn. You know, when you've had a bad game, you're like, ah, oh, man, you don't want to look at anyone. It's like, put your head down. Um, so uh, this is the first time I've ever been. I think this is probably the first time I've ever been subbed. Um, so I put my head down. Like, I'm soaking, like. Um, and the guy that comes on for me, experienced left back. Like when I say he's got games, he's got experience, um, and he's gone to like tap my hand or whatever. And I was, I was just give it the whole, oh, go away, man. <laughs> so he's gone and played. He's gone and played whatever, like steady, kept it. Um, we're coming now, and then straight away, he's gone. If you ever effing do that to me again. I do ya, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> Matt. So like, I thought, what do you mean, man? Like, I'm, I'm just like, I, like a little kid. Like, what do you mean, man? I don't chat rubbish, man. And then the gaffer comes in and he goes, everybody shut the f up, man. If you man talk, I'm ripping someone's head off. Like he's gone mad. And then that day, I've just, but like, I don't know when you're under 18s, under 23s, you don't really. I didn't experience that when I was under 18s. I didn't experience that. Well, listen, if I don't do that. A man can smack me up. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm just like, it wasn't the fact that I didn't, I didn't mean to disrespect him. It was just the fact that we we're fighting. I was, him. I was disappointed in my, in my performance. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, listen, I'm, I'm sorry in it. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't because, like, listen, I came. It wasn't because I came off as more the fact that I was disappointed. Mm-hmm. But he took it in a like after that, after the, the scrap and whatever. He he said, "Listen, man, I understand, like, but other people may have thought, nah, this guy, the violin from Arsenal, mm. nah, he's gone, he's got, we don't want him, he's gone. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That was that that experience for me was like, you, you need to understand as a like, I don't know, as a a kid who, if you can on your first loan, whatever, your impressions are always got to be hot. Do you know what I mean? Because if if you come from a big club." And you go and learn and you, I don't know. Act like a big They've got eyes on. They've mm. got eyes on. Do you know what I mean? And then people look at him and go, no, we don't like him. We don't like mm. him. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, you, you'll be gone. And that, that'll be your name. That'll be your name for it, like for a long time. Bro. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's a madness. You got any other stories like that? Or any on the flip side, um, good ones? Where you played amazing and you felt you couldn't do any, you know, you couldn't, you, everything you touched to, to gold on the flip side of, this, of things. 
Um, uh, I can tell you a game. Um, I think it was Barnet. I didn't. I done it. I think was it Barnet? It was Exeter. I think it was Exeter. We played Exeter, and it, um, we. I think it was Exeter. No, uh, League Two. I think I didn't have any I, I, at that time. I didn't have any stats, but I know I had games that like were, were good. Oh, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Leighton, Leighton, Leighton Orion, Leighton Orion. I remember Leighton Orion was like big game. So it was um, we played Leighton Orion at their ground. Um, I think it was like coming up, coming off the back of Stevenage's game or whatever, like something like that, and it was. One of those games where business end of the season, you, and they were at the bottom with us as well. So it was a fight. So we, yeah, so it was like a mad fight. So we needed to win that game, and they were a point behind us or two points behind us. Wow. So we, so we needed to win. It was like a serious game, um, and I've, I'm playing well, man. And it's like, yeah, this is this is me. You know, when like, you're in your zone, and it's like, all right, I'm feeling it. No, no, no one past me. I'm just do, I'm doing what I've got to do. So the ball's come on my side and there's two guys in front of me. I think, I, I think I've got a video of this as well. There's two guys in front of me. Um, and I'm like, how am I going to get, I'm not going to get through both of these. So I've dragged it, step over, boom, put really? it through the middle. I think I've seen this. Crossed it. Crossed it. They scored. Uh, we scored. Mm. And I buzzed. I think that was like 3-2. That made it 3-2. Hmm. Three or three one or something like that, and I'm buzzing and I'm like, yeah, this is. See, I think when you when you assist or score, that feeling is is different. Was it like to score your first senior goal, man? Uh when, my first senior goal was Blackpool. You know? I swear. Yeah, I think it was Black Blackpool last season. Yeah. What was that like, man? Talk us through that. That was your uh, dream of doing that as a kid, scoring in senior football. And yeah, it's mad. Um, we played, we played Wimbledon, FC Wimbledon, and I've got my. I think the guy that I'm playing against is tall, so like that that whole game is like, like right back's getting the ball, he's putting it down channels, and it's like I'm battling, and it's like oh, oh, yeah, it's yeah. Long. And there was a point where like he's right near the centre, um, and the ball's come, it ball's played into him, and I've nicked it in front of him. Mm. It's like a counter attack. And I've got the ball, I'm just driving, 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 driving. And there's a few players asking for the ball. And it's like, if I shoot and I miss, my head's just, off. Like, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, oh. So I'm, I'm driving, driving, driving. Took a touch out and I'm shot. And it's just gone over the keeper's arms and I'm buzzing. I'm like, yeah. Like, you man, shut just, up. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm buzzing. I'm like, yeah, bro, first goal. And I'm like, yeah, this is mad. Like, What's the race you bust? I don't even know, bro. I was probably asking. <laughs> 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 We're looking everywhere like, yo, I'm gassed, I'm gassed. Oh, um, man. Yeah, that feeling was good, man. That feeling was good. Mm. What was it like? What was it like joining middles, bro? Oh, it was good. I loved it. I think um, it was, um, it just made, it made sense. So like, oh, it just, it just proved that all the hard work just came out. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of the hard work that I done from Knox County, from way back, just just put into put into place. Um, and yeah, I, man, first day just nervous, just going in there thinking, oh man, like, I need to, I need to impress. You know what I mean? I need to do this. I need to do that. Um, but the feeling, the feeling was amazing. Did, you didn't, I didn't realize how big, a, like the club was. Mm. Like massive. I think, yes, man, it's huge. Like serious, massive, man. Listen, such a serious club. Um, but I didn't realize that. So I've just like I've gone in. I'm walking in. I'm like, bro, this is, this is big. And then you start, you start doing like. Uh, you yeah, you start clocking, you do your own little due diligence and that, and it's like, whoa, this is mad. Do you know what I mean? So the mm-hmm. pre- the pressure's there, the pressure's there, and it's like, all right, I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to do my job. Do you know what I mean? Mm. How'd the move come about? Without going into specifics too much. 
Yeah. Um, how did it come about? Um, so uh, I spoke to my agent. I think it was like the end, end of the, not even end of the season. So like June, July, after the season's done, you do a bit, a bit of your holidays. Um, and then I just got cut, cut back from a holiday. Um, and then I've gone to dinner. I've gone to dinner with my missus. And um, my agent calls me, just goes, listen, man, like, we've got some interest from the Middlesbrough. brown. I'm like, whoa, all right. He's like, Gaffer wants to call you. I'm like, what? He's going, yeah, man, Gaffer <laughs> wants to chat to you, man. Yeah, I'm like, all right, I need to, I need to pattern up a bit. I need to like, wake up. Yeah, I need to wake yeah. up. I need to wake up. Um, yeah, he's called me. He's like, man, like, listen, just, man, I think you're a good player and stuff like that. Um, we'll be happy to do something. Um, and then I was like, yeah, man, listen, uh, I just want to, I don't know, I want to be a, for me, it was just like, I just want it to be, um, how can I explain it? So the call came about, and he just said, "Listen, I um, I want to bring you on board, basically." And I was like, "Yeah, man, let me listen. I'm, I'm ready, innit? I'm ready. I wanna." And this was someone. This like this is the gaffer who his career is he's done it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's done it all. He's done it all. So he's got all the accolades. Um, and for me, that was someone who I kind of wanted to. You know, I want to be around you. I want some of that for myself. Yeah, I want to be around you. You know, I want to ask questions. I want to get better as a as a player, as a person. You know, you've done all the traveling and all of this stuff, so I want to kind of feel what it's like. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, it was like, yeah, man, this is a no no brainer type of thing. There's a no brainer going here. Um, and yeah, that's how it came about. Mm. What was your debut like? Say that again. What was your debut like, bro? Um, my debut. So I, so I had a friendly. Friendly, I played forty-five minutes um, against Saint Etienne, and that was scary because it wasn't even scary. I'd say it was ner- I was nervous because it was like. Um, even at that, there was a point where um, I was, I don't know, the day before, I'm trying to prep and I'm like, yeah, I don't normally prep. Do you know what I mean? I don't normally like, when I say I don't normally prep, it's like, I don't, oh, like, I, I need to do this. I need to, where, where's my stuff? Where's my, do you know what I It's normally like, it's normally like, it normally flows. Do you know what I mean? A day normally flows. Um, so I was nervous. I was like, listen, man, this is a, it's a different step. It's a different step in my career. I need to impress. First thing I need to do, mm-hmm. everything, like family's coming right, family's coming down or coming up, um, put a performance out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. so, um, yeah, I played, I thought I played, I thought I played well. Um, for first five minutes, I, I, I think at the time I didn't really play um, or train a lot. Um, so it felt good to be out there. And then that that was my debut, if you class it like that. And then my my debut, as in like official debut, was yeah. against Crew. It was against Crew, and I scored. This guy loves it. So that, to do a madness. So, so that was that was good. That was good as well because it was like yeah, I scored. But at the same time, it wasn't good because we lost that game. So I was a bit like, oh, it's annoying, but. Personally, I felt felt good to score, but it was a downer because we lost. Yeah, um, a bit sweet, really. Yeah, a bit sweet. So, um, but yeah, that was that was my first official debut, and that was a good experience. Just going out there and just playing, just like I didn't really think about it too much. Do you know what I mean? Mm, just so took it, it kind of, yeah, I just took it in my stride. Um. And yeah, that was my official debut. Mm-hmm. So on that, how do you think the season has gone? Obviously, prior to the break, for you personally and collectively as a team. Um, 
So are we talking Blackpool or Middlesbrough or? Oh uh, yeah, keep uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk Blackpool. <laughs> let's talk Blackpool. Let's go with where you're currently technically presently. Um, I'd say it's not my best. It's not my best season, to be honest. Um, I'd say there's there's, there's room for improvement. I don't know if the season's going to carry on or not. Sadly, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think it's been the best. As in, like, if I go back to, I don't know, my kind of, yeah, my career and how I, what I was doing compared to now, hasn't really been what I kind of wanted. Do you know Why what I mean? Is that? Yeah, Why is that? Is it because of injuries? Um, I don't know. I think it's just myself. I, I can only blame myself. I can't really blame anything else. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I think it's just I don't know different circumstances. Um, I don't know. Mm. For Barra, sorry, sorry, go on. Barra the same. Barra the same. I think. I think I when I first when I first I don't know. I think I just know that there's more, more from you. From me, do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, like I don't know. I th- it's I think it's it's a it's um it's an uh, what's the word? It's something for me that I can kind of look back on and be like, all right, cool. Like it's a it's a good thing and a bad thing. As in, like, all right, it just means that you haven't really seen the real me in that in in an aspect it's of like, all right, I've still got I've still got more to give. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but in the same way, it's like, man, should, you should do better. Do you know what I mean? You should always do better. Um, and that just comes within. Um, but, yeah, that's I'm just, for me, it's just like, I'm just going to work and just keep working. And just, just have pe- good people around me to keep me motivated and have the right, right mentality. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, man, just uh, every day, I think for me, you just got to stop. You can't dwell in it. Like you can't just keep thinking about the past and whatever. So you just got to keep taking things mm. forward. And that's what I'm starting to do a bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, that sounded like uh, that sounded like an Arsene Wenger quote, and that was a very good good thing to say. Um, but moving forward, I wanted to ask you in relation to um, being at Arsenal for a second. You mentioned um, I can't remember what you said specifically, but it, 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 I wanted to ask a personal question. When you went on loan at these clubs. Did you feel there was this preconception with some of the boys? Because it's human nature. Oh, he's from Arsenal. He's not going to take it seriously. He, you know, he's big time. He's not part of the fight because regardless, he's going back in the summer. Was there any yeah. of that? Or did you feel any of that? Or did you place in your head you thought there was any of that when there wasn't? Um, it's just like when I was talking to you about the... It's a, it's a stigma, isn't it? Like you, it's, it's, it's like you don't mean it, but it it's there in the open. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, it, it may not happen everywhere, but it happens. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, wherever you, I think it's more. I I don't know more now, but I know for me, like when when I was first going in, and it was like, or the higher the higher you are in terms of academy, and then you go to, on loan yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's like. Well, it doesn't really matter. You you can you can go back to whatever. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but times have changed, isn't it? I'm going on like I'm thirty, but time, <laughs> times times have changed. changed. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but there is always a, a stigma of like, all right, you're always gonna, I don't know, go back to your parent club and no one really, I don't know. That, that's not. I don't. I wouldn't call it big time anymore because it's like. Times have changed, isn't it? Mm, times but have changed, yeah. There was a point where you felt that. big time was around. You felt you felt that presence. Mm. That definitely makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Obviously, when you was at Arsenal, did you train with the first team often? Um, yeah, I was fortunate enough to be on the bench twice. Um, what was it at the time? Carling Cup at the time? Was it Carling Cup? No. Carabao Cup, Carabao Cup. We played. I think that we played Reading and Southampton. We lost two 0 that game against Southampton. Um, 
and we won. I think it was like two one against Reading, mm. and I was on a bench. I think that that was like, um, I think it was before I went on loan or oh, the, before I went on loan to Notts County is when I was on a bench, and then that was just like for me it was like oh my days like you going in you go into the dressing room, um, and you see all of these faces like man I used to. I don't know, I used to play, play, yeah. Yeah, I used to play on FIFA and stuff like that. So you kind of idolise them a little bit. Um, and that that feeling was a, like a good feeling, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, um, and then, yeah, that, that was a good feeling for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, and even now, like, I respect like, all of the, all of the young lads that have gone up and made, made the pot, that, like, played to put the path away, do you know what I mean? Mm. For, um, for all the other young players in the academy that are thinking, oh man, like, I can't wait to be the next Joe Willock or the next Eddie. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, which I respect highly. Um, and uh, yeah, that's 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 good, man. What was Wenger like? I didn't really, I didn't really um, have that communication with him too. I wasn't really, I wasn't like, I wasn't in, I wasn't in there. Mm. to kind of um, have that kind of conversation. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was like, for me, it was like an an experience. It wasn't like, all right, listen, um, you're going in and you're you're on a bench type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was just like, okay, cool. You're training with them today. It's like, all right, cool. You go in and train. It wasn't like communicating X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You see, when you was training, was there any obviously star shots being one thing, but in terms of technical ability, was there a player that you know you just couldn't get? Santi, Santi, Carlola. Oh wow! There's How much? We know he's a baller, but someone that was no, there. There's only one guy. I think there's only one guy that you can only you can only say when. I think at the t- I think at the time it was it was him. Um, I think for me, yeah. If if not him, then I think Jack the man in it, Jack Wilshire. I think for me, like I think I think it's just the style of the way he plays, like it's it's different, man. Do you know what I mean? Um and I I only trained with him a couple of times, so it wasn't like I like I only trained with him a couple of times. I wasn't like a regular, but from what I saw, it was like, man. He's different. It's, it's, I'm so upset that he's he's had so yeah. many injuries. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. the guy is is a he's a cool guy as well. From what I know, what I remember, um, and on the pitch as well, man, he's dangerous. Mm, he's yeah, he's so dangerous. He's everything before it's happened and oh, well, like, like injuries. Uh, yeah, he's oh, it's good, man. And at the at the time, I don't know when I was when I was on the thirteens, he was the only one who were uh, who was um in the uh, in the first team. Mm. I think at the time, so it was like yeah. everyone wanted to be the next Jack Walsh. Mm. You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. a few others done it. The Alex Worthy's done it, and it was like, all right, cool. Like now you know. Can be done. The path is there. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? That makes sense. Nah, I thought you were going to say Ozil, to be fair. I thought you were going to say Ozil. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but... I don't know, man. I think for me, it was just like... From what I... Yeah, you can only speak on what you see. Or how you yeah. Start, yeah. So, like, I don't... For me, I didn't really train with... With Urzel, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you like the mm. time where he's blown my mind in training because I don't remember. But mm-hmm. what I, from what I do remember, is Jack Walsher and Santi. I mean, I mean, I mean, playing. Imagine being in the rondo with them. You wouldn't want to be in the middle. It's a myth. It's that's absolute... long. It's long. You it's just long. It's mad long. What was it like when? Because obviously football's there is tough decisions in football. And you've been through good at this point. You've been through good highs and lows. What was it like when it was becoming clear that you know you and Arsenal were going to go separate ways, or you wanted to make the decision to leave? What was that like for you? Um, yeah, it was weird because at the time all I knew was like Arsenal, you know. So like, um, I think I was like sixteen, eighteen, and I was I was in digs with um, a few lads, or 
a few lads. Um, so it was just like, all right, cool. Like, I'm, I'm not a part a part of this type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but you kind of know within yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone's getting extensions and like extensions, and it's like, oh, what's going on with you? And you're like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like you kind of know, you kind of know. Um, but at the same time, it was like I didn't even have um, a path, as in like I I didn't set myself a path for me to go in there. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it was like I kind of knew, okay, cool. Like I need to go look elsewhere. Mm. So it was like when I knew, okay, I'm going out alone, Bristol. I thought like, I need to do well at Bristol to kind of set myself apart. Put myself in the window. You know, you know what I mean? Mm. So you kind of know within yourself and you can only you can only blame yourself at the same time. Mm. Do you know mm. what I mean? So at the time I, I just thought I right, cool, like, I just need to I need to do what's best for me. Um and play as many games as I can to kind of put myself out there and be like, all right, this is my this is what I can do. I can someone take me on type of thing. Yeah, I can show what I can. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a talented lad, take a chance on the guy sort of thing. Type of thing, yeah. Mm. Um, What's it like? Then, oh, sorry, go on, go on, go on. No, go on, no, no it's cool, cool. gems, man. Nah, you go, you're the pro. I ain't got nothing left. That was me. That was me. Uh-huh. I swear down, that was me. I, I just wanted to ask you, and I'm being rather selfish now. I'm, I'm not really asking questions for the viewers. What is it like being a young pro? Obviously, you've, they've told you you've left now. Cool. What's it like looking for clubs, you know, probably hollering your agent, what's happening? But maybe is there trials here and there? Some are saying positive things, some are not necessarily. What's it like, man, during the period? I'll tell you one thing, yeah. It's hard, bro. Well, I tell you, yeah, my story to Blackpool was, hard, like, hard. Um, I think it was a point where it was like July. Everyone's going back into training. I'm just at home in bed. Like, I'm, you know, when it's like my phone's not ringing, not like ringing at all. nothing at all. So it's you, like, what do you do? Do you know what I mean? It's I tell you, it is hard, bro. Like, there's no guidance to anyone that I don't know. I think. At, at the time, it was like oh, I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm just, I'm just okay. I'm. I, I, it was like okay. I went on trial at Wigan, and it was like you feel like you do all right, and then mm. oh, we can't really um, we can't we can't um, offer you like I don't know game time. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like you, you go elsewhere, and it's like. Oh, no, oh, not sure. I know you're a good player. And it's like, but you kind of, and then after that, you go into like doubt as in like, well, damn, like, I've actually played in the league. Do you know what I mean? Mm, no one's looking so it's not for like, that. It's not like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not like um, I'm going in and I'm um, expecting anything. It mm. was just like, I don't know, give me, um, give me a chance. I don't know. Give me something. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like even even Blackpool came because when I was on at, when I was on trial at Wigan, I played against Blackpool. On the, on the day I was, on, on the day I was on the day I was leaving. So on a let's say on a Saturday I was leaving. I um we uh yeah we had a game and it was like okay cool, like preseason game play forty five minutes like that's your forty five minutes done. Mm. You know what I mean? Or you yeah. do, like, you do running in the, in between and then you play. So it was like, all right, cool. Like, for me, I felt like, okay, this is the game that if I do well, I'm going to get signed that weekend. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so I thought I'd done all right. I thought I'd done all right. I was like, yeah, man, this is, this is good, man. I feel comfortable. And then it's like, oh, all right, you, you can go home now. And it's like, all right, cool, man. Let me just drive four, four hours, five hours back down to London. So I get a call. Um, goes, oh man, this is the Blackpool manager at the time. We'd we'll like to, we we'll like to sign you up. And it's like, all right, like, I ain't, I ain't got no option. <laughs> like, where am I, where am I gonna go, man? Do you know what I mean? So mm. it's like, man, I'll take it. 
I'll take it. Whatever it is, man. I'll, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going, innit? Mm. So you get home and it's like, oh, you expect him to go one way, you go another way. Mm. Um, and then your life changes completely. Do you know what I mean? You, you just go in there and it's like, now you're kind of surviving for yourself or, I don't know, um, whoever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that was, that was me. Um, someone who, I don't know, had, um, what was I, 18 at the time? I had about, had a few appearances. So League One, League Two, thought I'd done well in both. Mm. So, from, like me was going into League One, League Two and then getting released from Arsenal to having no club playing as possible. Do you know what I mean? Anything can happen if you work hard, yeah. An- anything can happen. So it was like, um, so when I got into Blackpool, my mindset was like, man, I'm trying to, I want to I wanna be better. I don't really want to be here. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I want to do everything I can in my power to get better and and kind of improve. Do you know what I mean? Move up and become more. So special. my thought process was every time I get the ball, I'm trying to I'm trying to beat my right back. My right back is not going this way. He's going back. He's running towards his goal. Mm. That was my thought process. Because mm. at the same time, it was like um, uh, I got like a sh- I had a short contract there. So it was like I got I have to have to improve and I have to show everyone. Okay, cool. Like this guy's not messing can't around. I let, let him go. Yeah, you can't let him go. You can't let him go. You got to give him a new one. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. So I had so I had to kind of grind and do all of whatever to 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 get where I don't know to to be the best. Do you know what I mean? At that mm. point, mm-hmm. um, and that was that was like my. I don't know, journey from not having a deal to having a, having a deal. Do, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, when I tell you, it's so hard. Like, I don't know, people don't, you don't realise like all of the stuff that goes through your mind when you don't have, like, I don't know, for footballers, it's like, I don't know, um, that backing, the backing of um, anybody wants you, there's loads of players Hundreds of players that get released from elsewhere, and it's like, where'd you go from there? Where'd you go from there? What happens to them once they 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 chewed up and spat out and things? Man, like that? It, it, <laughs> not even a chewed up and spat out thing because it sounds it sounds harsh, but it's just like it's just like what what happens? Do you know what I mean? Where do you go from there? People, you just don't know. You just end up, I don't know. You just get a normal job, but all you've known is football. So it's like, damn. Because you consider it. I no, nah. Same, you'd be hard headed too, man. Because look where it's got you. Nah, I didn't. I never like. I just thought to myself, listen. I I knew what I was capable of doing to kind of um get to the to, like the next step. Either whether it was go back down to League Two or whether it was go to start League One. Do you know what I mean? Because I just I just wanted to play football. I mm-hmm. didn't I didn't want to just go into like I don't know another reserve and and then start again mm. do you know what I mean I, I wanted to I wanted to play men's football um, so that was my foot press I was like nah I ain't doing that I ain't no I'm going in I'm, I'm playing I want to play um, and then yeah man I had I don't know had a, a st- <laughs> yeah, I see he, he's enjoying the story too <laughs> um, so yeah man when I went to Blackpool I was like yeah man like that was my mind. That was my had like my mind set on that, um, and then I enjoyed it at the same time. I enjoyed it, but yeah, that's what that's that's where it is. Obviously, obviously, the goal was to be a footballer, so that's the reason in itself to stay like to to not let your situation see above your situations like you did. But I want to yeah. ask you a bit more. Obviously, when you're in that scenario, you're thinking about the clubs and whatnot, who's going to be interested. I'm pretty sure you've got friends that you deem very talented that are probably not getting clubs and stuff like that. How do you keep your head down? There must be friends that you have that don't kick ball anymore. That were yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a madness. Um, I, think, I think the key thing is just having the people, like, uh, people around you have to be, um, like, uh, relevant so um 
the people that are around you, you've got to be people that are going to push you or people that are in a better position than you. That's what I think. Yeah. Um, I, I could be wrong. What's up, brother? <laughs> what, man? Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, it's cool, man. It's real life, man. Yeah. Um, people, yeah, I think, I don't know. For me, I had people that were in a better position than me. I had my, my, my brother, my dad, my mom, sisters. Um, and then I had my missus at the time. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. all of these, all of these um, had a massive part in me just going forward. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So friends, are, yeah, I'd say friends and family, man. It's key because, I don't know, some people can tell you to go that way or go this way. But if your mindset is, listen, I want to carry on doing this, then you got to have the same people. you got to cut people off. Do you know what I mean? you got to cut How people off. How difficult is that? Like, it's hard, man. It's even hard cutting people off now. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. Every day, you've got, it's hard. It's hard, man. But if you know what you want, then it's a decision that you have to make. Mm. It makes sense. And obviously... Go on, go on, go on. Sorry, let me just put this down. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I have to, man. I'm just this. I have to. This is killing me. I have to. Right. I'm oh, pretty no. at the time you lot can see that this is real. This is real life, people. This is real life. Sure, man. It's a minor, man. Like I was just saying to these lot that at the time they'll hear it. This is real life. The guy's got a dog. I'm pretty sure many people got dogs. You can deal with this, man. You're dropping gems from. <laughs> Obviously, what you've kind of been saying has teed me up to my next question. Obviously, you, you've spoken about mindset. Some people probably told you to stop kicking balls. Some people probably told you to push it. Let me flip that and put that to the side. And how do you deal with opinions in general? Like a fan's opinions. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could Google or, or go on your name on Twitter. You'll see some positive things. You might see some negative things. How do you not let yourself come in a good or let your state be altered according to the noise that comes with being a ball? You don't read it. You don't read it. Mm. You don't read it. There's no... If someone tells you that you're good, it shouldn't, it shouldn't boost your ego. Do you know what I mean? Or if someone tells you that you're bad, Shouldn't affect it. Shouldn't, shouldn't affect it. That's what I think. But it's hard. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's hard. There's people. I don't know. There's any anyone. Um. It's for someone to. I don't know. You you don't want them to get the better of you just because they said something. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, you just got if 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 you just don't listen to anything or any comments, then it's like all right, you win in it because. Someone saying, oh, man, you're, you see what you've done? Great, man. Great. Well done. The next day, they could just be like, man, this guy's weak. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, just, it's, an, it's an opinion at the end of the day. Like, mm. You just got to be true to yourself. And if you know, then you know, innit? That's true. But, but, it's, but it's hard. But it is hard. I'm, I ain't going to come here and tell you this is easy. Like, it's, it's hard. Yeah, I've ever seen some nasty comments. Like, just, there's no need for this. I, 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 maybe not towards myself, but like teammates. I don't know, teammates. Yeah, but you gotta understand. Like, I think when it comes to like opinions, you, you just gotta think. Like, I don't know, if I was working somewhere else, would I be getting this? Mm, mm. You know what I mean? So you can't take it. Um, you can't take it too literal. But I know it gets like that. Do you know what I mean? Because it it may turn personal at a different different stage or whatever do you know what i mean mm-hmm. um so it's just it's just the way the way you deal with it has to be different or if you feel like i don't know people that are telling you good things is going to help you um then then go for it but mm-hmm. it's just the way you deal with it mm. obviously i want to ask you earlier you mentioned that at a time i think you said oh you was getting a bus at a period to training i think around 12 years of age now, obviously, we know how much of a strain it is for any player playing for an academy on their families about three, four times a week. Obviously, yeah. you go through a bit, like, detailing how tough that actually is, like, because I don't think people understand it. And, like, your bus journey and things like that, man, to get to, I assume, hey, um, like, I'd say, what, 30, 40? I'd say, um, so, like, if, if my dad was working, um, then I couldn't do it, but so let's say I'll get the I'll get 
So where I live, I live in I live in, I live in Greenwich. So from Greenwich to Greenwich. yeah, from Greenwich to um, Wolverhampton, right? Wolverhampton, right? about an hour and a half bus journey, train journey. So I'd finish school at like three o'clock, um, and then from three, I don't know, get home half three, get ready. I'll be, I have to leave my house at like half four, get to training at six, six thirty. Mm. But that was, I don't know, let's say I'll do that three times a day. I'll, dr- I'll go there, but my dad will pick me up back. Pick you up, yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Um, if Before that, um, uh, I used to car share with um, Abere's mum. So me and Abere would go um, to training. Training. Or well, OVA would go to training and then we'll get him. Like, like that. Yeah, so his, his mum or OVA's dad will drive and then we'll come back together. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But there'll be times where you have to get the train or you have to get, like, train a bus there, just finish school, whatever. So madness. And you've got, and you've got to come back. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. But, um, yeah. I think it's just a part of the process. Do you know what I mean? Part of the game, essentially. Yeah. Everyone has everyone has different. I don't know different journeys to to get into training or whatever. It's just a part of the process. My process was going to get in a bus, train, whatever, to training. But other people's could be I don't know other things. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Definitely. Obviously, you've been you 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 know you've been at Blackpool. I assume you lived in that region. You've been at Borough. You've been at Digs at Arsenal. You know, there's Bristol and Notts County. What's it like as a young man? You know, ex- taking new experiences. I assume, obviously, you're in Digs, but I assume at some point you're living alone. There are experiences you've got to do alone. So, what's it like as a young lad in all these different regions, essentially? And like, um, so you know, like from London as well. Yeah. So, um, when I was at Digs. Um, so it was me, um, at first it was me, Alex, me and Alex Worthy, and then it was me and Ben Sheath. So um, we, had, we, had a, we had a lady who, um, she lived alone, so it was just like us three. Mm. Um, and it was just like, I don't know, I think for me that was like the best part. It was a good introduction to life. What life would be like that. Yeah, would life would be like so? Like, she was amazing, like, she would just give us like leeway type of thing, do you know what I mean? Um, and then when I moved to Knox County, mm. it was like, this is different, man. I, I wasn't in a house, I was not flat, I was in a hotel by, my, like, by myself. No. Yeah, so I was in a hotel for about four months. What? <laughs> I was always about to say four weeks there. <laughs> no, no, no. Mind so, like, it was completely different. It was mm. completely, but it was, but it was, for me, I felt like it was good. Do you know what I mean? Because it was like, you have your own little, basically like a, I don't know, like a uni accommodation. You have your own little place. Oh. You know, that hotel is yours. Yeah. You know, if I'm there, if it's there, for four, if it's there for four months, bro, I'm leaving all my stuff there. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, that was different. And then when I moved to, uh, Bristol, um, like it was completely different. I was in a flat, me and my missus, it was like perfect, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Felt good. So, and then I went to Blackpool, and then I was living in uh, like close to Blackpool, and then that was just, do you know what I mean? So, I've just been moving, moving with the missus like mm-hmm. gradually, and then it's just been good ever since, you know what I mean? Ever since. What was it like doing being in a hotel for four months though, purely because I put myself in that. And I wouldn't say I'd become lonely, but it could probably have moments where you feel a bit like a bit lonely. I, so I used to I used to basically drive up every drive home and thingy every day. It was that like for me, I, I don't know, like it felt um I don't I think that point I was what let's say my daily schedule would be like on a Monday, um Let's say we are training on a Monday, Tuesday game. So I'd go home on a Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday I'd come, I'd drive home from Greenwich to Notts, to Nottingham, sorry, drive home um, on a Thursday, stay in a hotel, Friday, wherever, let's say we're home, I'd stay there. So I have two days in a hotel and then 
Saturday game, drive back home. Let's say we have Sunday, Monday off. So I'm basically in a hotel for about two two days, mm. three days. Do you know what I mean? The day is less so I was constantly just there, boom, driving, driving back, driving home. So if I was lonely, I'm driving back home. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I don't know. Um, that that was me at the, at that time. Mm. I just I, and I I think I was still at that point where I, man I I miss London too much. Do you know what I mean? I miss London. I miss like friends, family, girl, girlfriends, all of it. So mm. I just wanted to go back home and just be in London. Mm. When you was on loan, how like in terms of being in contact over the performance is one way, one thing. But like you hear a lot of stories about footballers when they're on, they left their own, their, their own devices. Sorry, things can happen. So how much was you in contact with like Arsenal about your mental well being and like are you okay in this hotel? Because I know like you said you was driving down, but there's many incidences of other other scenarios. So like how was it mentally in that regards with Arsenal? So um, so I think I think at that time. Um, I think it's it's completely changed now, um, but at that time, so in terms of performances, like we would communicate a lot. We had a scout, a scout would come up, um, and just like, do you know what I mean? It was proper. It was good. Do you know what I mean? We had a scout, um, and he would just check up on us and just see if we we're right. Um, any problems would would text him. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then like that's been good. Do you know what I mean? And then I yeah. think even now. Um, They've got someone. Uh, I think when I, when I was what fourteen, um, this this lady um, named Kate Green came in, and she's she's been great. Like she helped me through most of my there. period. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and she's been like I think she's. She, for for me, I think she was like a a, a big part of inside here. Mm. That journey, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. In terms of like, if like things happen in life, do you know what I mean? So it's like, who do you speak to? Sometimes you don't want to speak to your mate. Sometimes you don't want to speak to your missus. You've had a you've had a crap game. <laughs> missus wants to talk to you. How was your game? It's like I don't even want to have a chat with you. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But there's someone there. There was someone there. Sense. Do you know what I mean? Anything. And then at that point, it was like, yeah, she she was perfect. And that is, I think, what we needed as um, as players at the time. Do you know what I mean? If you wanted to go, go on loan or people that weren't on loan, or if all the lads were training first team and you weren't training first team, it's like, your head's gone. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like, you, you needed someone there. And that was that like, was a perfect fit for what we needed. Um, and yeah, she was great. Um, so that mental aspect, I'd say, yeah, all based on her. Wow, see, I didn't know that. And that's why I wanted to do this interview with you, found out little gems like that. That's fantastic. Yeah. And finally, I wanted to ask you something, especially because I thought I knew your story, but all the things you've said. What do you yeah. feel the strongest sort of attribute, be it physical, mental, or whatever, for a young player trying to make it as a professional footballer or aspiring to be an out, an, a footballer outright? Um. I just say, just have confidence, man. Believe in yourself. Um, talent is not is not good enough. At, at, like now, do you know what I mean? It's not, man. You you gotta have the right mentality. Um, I think you gotta have personality, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when you say personality, what do you mean specifically for those watching? I think. Watching? I think. Um, my question would be like, like, what are you? Do you know what I mean? It's like, are you? It sounds, it sounds mad, but it's like, are you, ju- are you just a footballer? Do you know what I mean? Oh, if I took, if I, if I took off all your shells, are you inside, are you just a footballer? Who are you, you mentally, I mean? like, spiritually, in that? What are you? Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that comes out of you when, when you play football. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It kind of comes out. You kind of, you kind of. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Um, Find an example in that. I'm trying to give you guys an example. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I look at people like um, from Arsenal. Let's say Hector Bellerin. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, cool. Hector Bellerin does a lot of stuff for like Heart Foundation or 
fashion and really Do you know what I mean? What is he? He's not just He's not just a footballer. Event. He's not a rook. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And the stigma comes with well footballers are just footballers, like they're robots. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it shouldn't be, what are you? You've got your person at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Football is just something you do. Football was just, it's like, it's just like what you're it's doing now, bro. It's a hobby. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's a job, it's like, yeah. It's bro, a hobby job, yeah. You love doing this. I love playing football. Do you know what I mean? But it's mm-hmm. like, it, it doesn't mean that I've got to be like a... Just a foot robot, just a footballer. Yeah, like, what are you is my question. Do you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, when I say, yeah, that's what I mean, like. um, And I don't know. That's when, like, even before when I said, like, I don't know, people will say, oh, man, we shouldn't be doing this or we shouldn't mm, be doing that. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's just the way, it's just the way life is, you know what I mean? You can't change that. Mm. I don't want to get you in, oh, go on, go on. Go on, no. I don't, on, on that, um, I don't want to get you in, in too much issue, but do you think that's a problem in England in relation to football? Purely because I wholeheartedly agree with, with that, like, you could be a footballer, but you should be able to do other things. And I also think football fans are quite fickle because, you know, if Aubameyang was, for, for instance, unfairly, Bellerin's diet is brought, is brought into things a lot of the time. Um, and people say so, all these negative things. But if they look at someone like Aubameyang or Harry Kane or anyone or Lionel Messi or Ronaldo, it wouldn't be an issue. Not that it should be an issue, but it wouldn't be an issue. I think football can be quite fickle in that. As long as you're playing well, nobody says anything. When you're bad, it's everything. And you're, like you said, like, is it an issue? Because you're not allowed to do anything other than be a footballer. Yeah, no. I, don't, I think that's just one a conversation that, I don't know. I don't know if you can answer that fully. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, I, I don't, it's just like, I don't know. It's just like when I said to you, like, you can't, you can't really take everything in. As in, like, even... Even, even, I don't know, like when people say, oh man, you, you had a great game, but someone said, oh, but he didn't score. Do you know what I mean? So it's mm. like, you can't take, you can't take everything literal or you can't, you can't really read in. Yeah, you can't. So it's just, you just got to find, I don't know, when I, like, that's what I'm saying in terms of like, I don't know, when we're talking about Hector Bellerin at the moment, but I think he's a, great example for not just Arsenal players but like for players in general as yeah. in like brave lad man brave do you know what I mean like what are you what are you trying even like I'm trying to think someone like Cyrus Christie another one great example do you know what I mean and mm. it's like who are you this guy's done loads of things to the community do you know what I mean like what do you do with what you have is what is is, is, a, is a thing that people should be doing even myself like I think I should be doing that as well but it's, it's, I think it's massive. That's a, that's a fantastic answer. And it's fantastic. It's been fantastic seeing like everything you've said. You've actually dropped some gems, and this has been one of my favorite interviews. Like, I'd like, I'd like to, I, I know being a footballer in England, you're probably not allowed to, or it's a bit subjective, but you should have your own YouTube channel with your own nah, sort of nah, stuff. Nah. Like, people could learn a lot, man. I knew you'd say that, but people could learn a lot. It's been amazing speaking nah. to you, man. Nah, that's amazing. good, man. I appreciate I appreciate this. I told you, like, this is my. It's my first one, probably be my last one, isn't it? Because you know, <laughs> nah, man, you got feature in this, my guy. Especially as you're yeah. progressing as a baller, man. But um, no, I appreciate it, man. I love to do this again with you and track your progress and whatnot as we obviously get back to football, God willing. But yeah, man, yeah, man. take up all your day. It's been amazing. No, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Anyway, no worries, man. Take care of yourself. You too, man. All right, peace.